Professor Neil Turner, Chair of Kidney Research UK, works at the forefront of renal research and development at the Queen's Medical Research Institute in Edinburgh. Well, I think we've got fantastic opportunities in research. The tools have never been so good. The understanding of the genes, the new imaging techniques that can show us what's going on in kidneys in, in living patients, um, and many of the laboratory techniques which have developed across the years really give us extraordinary opportunities to, to make things better. And we're going to really be able to make a difference in, a, I hope, a smaller time scale. It's important to ensure that research and development is relevant and useful to people directly affected by renal disease and to the people who work with them. A recent survey carried out by Kidney Research UK showed that people are particularly interested in early detection, stem cell research, making damaged kidneys last longer, causes of kidney damage and improving quality of life. So let's now look at the latest developments in some of these key areas. We know that some of the treatments that prevent protein getting into the urine can prolong the life of a, of a kidney. And we're beginning now, I think, to understand ways in which we can control it with different drugs. In other words, to make damaged kidneys last much longer, keep people healthy, prevent them from ever needing dialysis or transplants. Each time a gene is discovered, there's a huge amount of work in understanding how that causes the disease and what the possible ways of treating it as a result of that knowledge are. An exa good example is polycystic kidney disease for which the gene was known about 20 years ago. It was identified 10 years ago, but only now, this year, are the very first new drugs being tested in, in patients. 